News broke that Gannon's body was found in Florida. We've been inundated with inquiries from the press and the public. This will address only what has taken place as a result of that development in this case. As I've said in the past, we will not try this case in the media. Today I filed new formal charges in the case against Letitia Stout. Those charges are murder in the first degree after deliberation, a class one felony that carries a potential prison sentence of life in prison without parole. In addition to that, I've filed eight counts of crime of violence for the alleged use of a firearm, a blunt instrument, a knife or other sharp object, and for causing the death of Gannon Stout. Hello and welcome to True Crime Rocket Science, the most credible voice in true crime. So the news has finally come through, um, it's pretty sad news, although I think it was very expected. On the 17th, so four days ago, last Tuesday, Gannon Starch's remains were found, the 11-year-old boy that's been missing since the end of January. And I think quite a few of us have um, almost forgotten about the case or moved on from it or almost imagine that the case has been almost put on hold because of, I'm, t I'm talking about the search, because of the whole coronavirus thing. Now, it turns out that his remains were found by a transportation, uh, Florida Department of Transportation road crew uh, doing work in the area. This was on the on Highway 90, uh, crossing the Escambia River Bridge in Pace, Florida. So when I was um, trying to locate the um, exact area, um, obviously some reports had very little detail. Obviously, the, the, Den the Denver Post had had this detail about on this actual bridge, but anyway, I went and went to Google Maps and I sort of went to look for the bridges in the area and there were basically two candidates one was over the Scambia and that was the first one that I looked at which is quite a biggish river and estuary and then there was another one sort of um, inside pace a very small little kind of um, much smaller river almost like a pond but that was actually in pace itself so um, without confirmation, it was either the one or the other, and I, I, I sort of thought it was more likely to be the bigger river, just because it was. Um, that's a kind of road that is uh, looks like it can be fairly not deserted, but if one chooses the right time, one could stop and and then just dump someone over the side and then drive on, and that's kind of what I visualized kind of from quite early on. Um, on the Patreon channel, quite a few, obviously I was updating the Gannon Storch page or, you know, the, the, the case for, for quite a while, especially in, um, throughout sort of the first couple of weeks of February. And, um, uh, and, and, and I guess late January. And um, a lot of the, the patrons were sort of asking me, you know, because... Gannon just wasn't being found and so a lot of my patrons were saying well you know where do you think he is and my answer is basically in water and possibly under a bridge that that was my answer and um, I did do a search in the Colorado area but it, it just didn't seem like based on where Letitia had driven that, that it didn't seem very likely. What we, we seem to be talking about here is a scenario where um, Gannon's body is somewhere in Colorado for quite a while and then it is transported. In other words, the human remains, the body is, is collected and then transported later on. Now, at the moment, we don't know exactly when that happened. More than likely, the law enforcement were tracking Letitia or someone that Letitia knew um, 
but uh, we have a similar scenario with, in terms of that with uh, the Patrick Frazee case where the remains moved from A to B to C and it looks like something similar, maybe even, even more convoluted, happened here. So, and I believe the same scenario also played out in the Madeleine McCann case that the body was moved from somewhere to somewhere else and then moved again. Now, um, what tends to happen with these searches is searches search somewhere and then they sort of say, well, okay, that area is now excluded. And then they search somewhere else and they say that area is excluded. But what they don't know is, you know, whether um, if, someone, if someone didn't get lost, if someone is, is actually purposefully hiding a body they can move it to a pair, an area that's already been excluded right and you also had the scenario like this in the Noira Corin case um, I don't think there was foul play involved but I do think you know there was a team of hundreds of people searching for her and then she seemed to move back into an area that had been already searched which is why they, 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 they didn't find her right Uh, I do think it's a particularly depraved individual that not only kills a child but has some kind of custody and maintenance of the dead the, the, the dead body and then you know um, after moving the body somewhere collects it and then takes it somewhere else I mean I just find that absolutely depraved and that does appear to be the case in this case but we will ultimately see what happens Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.